welcome to my YouTube channel that is biology at your fingertips and today I am going to teach you a requested video that is tips and tricks to learn the crab cycle which forms a very important question in each and every entrance examination in which biological sciences is a part. So we are going to learn this particular cycle that is crab cycle. Firstly I am going to elaborate this cycle and after that I am going to tell you a trick by which you can easily memorize the steps occurring in this cycle. So let's start. As we know that a 6 carbon compound that is glucose gets converted into 2 molecules of a 3 carbon compound that is pyruvate which is 3 carbon compound in glycolysis. So pyruvate is the final product of glycolysis which in turn react with coenzyme A to form a molecule of NADH2 by utilizing NADH positive or NAD positive and releasing a molecule of CO2. This is a reaction in which acetyl coenzyme A is formed which is a 2 carbon compound and this cycle starts with this particular compound that is citric acid. So oxaloacetic acid which is a 4 carbon compound combines with acetyl coenzyme A which is 2 carbon compound giving a 6 carbon compound that is citric acid which in turn form isocitric acid which is also a 6 carbon compound. After that the isocitric acid got converted into ketoglutaric acid by releasing NADH2 by utilizing NAD positive and releasing one molecule of CO2. So giving as one CO2 is released that is one carbon is decreasing so the 6 carbon compound will be converted into a 5 carbon compound that is ketoglutaric acid. After that it is converted into succinyl coenzyme A by releasing 1 CO2 and 1 NADH2 by utilizing NAD positive simply. So the succinyl coenzyme A will be of 4 carbon because 1 C is getting reduced again. After that the succinyl coenzyme A is getting converted into succinic acid by the release of GTP. This is a very important step where succinyl coenzyme A is getting converted into succinic acid by the evolution of GTP, one molecule of GTP. After that the succinic acid is converted into fumaric acid which is a 4 carbon compound because no CO2 is released in this particular process but a molecule of FADH2 is released by utilizing FAD positive. After this particular step, the fumaric acid got converted into malic acid which is also a 4 carbon compound because no CO2 is getting evolved in this particular process. After this, the malic acid got converted into oxaloacetic acid which is also a 4 carbon compound so no CO2 is getting evolved in this particular process too but a molecule of NADH2 is formed by utilizing NAD positive again. So the cycle goes like this, oxaloacetic acid combines with acetyl coenzyme A to form citric acid, it converted into isocitric acid, then ketoglutaric acid, succinyl coenzyme A, succinic acid, fumaric acid, malic acid and then oxaloacetic acid again and then the cycle repeats. So the interesting thing to note in this particular cycle is the only 5 carbon compound in this cycle is alpha ketoglutaric acid. All the steps or all the compounds above this ketoglutaric acid will be of 6 carbon and all the compounds after alpha ketoglutaric acid in this particular cycle are of 4 carbon. So this is a simple way to learn how much carbons this does a particular compound will have in this particular cycle. So after this the trick will be like citric acid, isocitric acid, ketoglutaric acid, succinyl coenzyme A, succinic acid, fumaric acid, malic acid and oxaloacetic acid. So we have to emphasize on first alphabet of this particular cycle. So the trick is, I would request you to note down this particular trick. Can intelligent current, current is a detective. Can intelligent current solve some foreign mafia operation? Can intelligent current solve some foreign mafia operation which is a very simple and a sensible English sentence C for can which means citric acid intelligent I that is isocitric acid 
करण के दैट इज कीटो ग्लूटारिक एसिड सॉल एस दैट इज सक्सिनाइल को एंजाइम में सम एस दैट इज सक्सिनिक एसिड फॉरन एफ दैट इज फ्यूमेरिक एसिड माफिया एम दैट इज मेलिक एसिड ऑपरेशन ओ दैट इज ऑक्लो एसिटिक एसिड सो ट्रिक गोज लाइक दिस कैन इंटेलिजेंट करन सॉल्व सम फॉरन माफिया ऑपरेशन so this is the trick for crab cycle by which you can easily memorize the sequence of steps occurring in this particular cycle this cycle is also known as citric acid cycle as it is starting with citric acid as well as tca cycle that is tri carboxylic acid cycle so this is the trick to memorize crab cycle i hope you like this trick and for memorizing this trick you can note down this particular trick and memorize it one or two time more to get it on your fingertip So thank you so much guys for watching this video if you really like this video then press like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel thank you so much again for watching this video